this is a barn door tracker very homemade as you can see but if you want to track anything in the sky um, you need some kind of hopefully motorized thing you can do this with a hand crank but I don't know who would want to you would have to sit there and turn a crank with watching a stopwatch or watching the hand and doing the same speed and that wasn't for me so it's named a barn door tracker because of that hinge you see everything sitting on um, it is a literal door hinge and I don't know if you can see my cursor but I am uh, can't guarantee you are so if you look to the right where the hinge is it's sitting on a normal camera tripod and instead of the camera there of course we have mounted the uh, the hinge but from the center of that hinge to over to the left where that bolt is that's the radius that you need for the bend in the bolt so if you got a you know measured from the center of the bolt to or the, the bolt to the center of the hinge and draw that circle out on a piece of paper then you would need to bend a threaded bolt around that circle and that way you know that you're following uh, an even you know 360 degrees now I have calculations and parts list in the description you can look at those we had to improvise my husband did most of the improvising um, but we also couldn't find exactly the gears we needed because you have to get from the speed of the motor to consider the threads per inch of the rod and make the motor turn at a certain speed so you have to set the voltage for the motor so that it turns that speed and then you use the gears to convert to what you need for the threaded bolt so as I said in the description there's a basic parts list for what you would need to attach these things and uh, my husband 3d printed the gears he had to figure out how many teeth for each thing and printed those out and then uh, we had to basically uh, fit or glue the uh, the main thick gear on top of the motor you can see there be, uh, in the middle of the hinge there and then we mount the other tripod head to the top part that's going to move so the bottom part your tripod the hinge you point toward Polaris wherever you are you point it toward Polaris you can look it's it's your latitude that's what latitude is is your angle to Polaris so if you point it to that if you can't find Polaris especially especially during the day um, what you need to do is find out there are charts online for your magnetic declination which is how far Polaris is from magnetic north so if you get a compass and aim it to uh, magnetic north you'll be a little bit off so you have to find out what which way negative or positive from north to aim your um, the hinge of your tracker and of course your tripod has to be level once you have that you mount your camera to the top tripod point it to whatever you want to watch make sure it's centered and then turn on the the motorized tracker now uh, just turn on the motor actually so this is our little tracker again a 3d printed box uh, we couldn't find an affordable 12 volt source so we thought you know what let's put two 9 volts in series and step it down with a voltage controller so that's what we did we got this voltage regulator we, we got some caps for the 9 volt batteries and um, of course this is the back of it the readout has to face forward and you can see the little notches there that we put in a back plate after that and some spare wires and thing there's the front of it of course after assembly we realized that uh, normally you would hold the device uh, with the readout at the top but it's upside down so you have to hold it upside down we had to at the last minute we like oh we forgot to put a hole for the switch to turn the thing off and on so that was added later but um, the voltage controller you um, set it till you know maybe it won't be exactly 12 volts for you um, you have to adjust it until the the device moves at the speed you want so you can adjust it with that so then 
there it is with the display on. You can see if it, you turn your head to the left, you can see the display reads 12 volts exactly. It's putting currently was putting out 0 0.05 amps, so I don't think I had any load on it at the time, but um, any or, or or much load. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Here it is all assembled, as I I think I showed it the first, um, and now I'm going to try to play. A short video of it actually working so let me see if that works I hope you can hear this I don't know if this is recording I guess it is so there's the thing in action I don't have it totally lined up with Polaris this is just a demo but basically there's the um, the hinge motor gears turning the top half of the hinge. This is supposedly tracking the moon. Like I said, I didn't line it up completely. Um, I don't know if you can see anything in that screen right now, but the moon is sort of there. And that's how it works. So the top one is where it, um, you can adjust separately to point at whatever object and how it's done. So um, there you have it. That's a barn, barn door tracker. Um, the hardest part for actually tracking something like Jupiter is to get it centered before you zoom in and or at least uh, get it close to center so that it will by the time you start the tracker it will drift into the center and then you can start the tracker and it should keep it centered it is a noisy tracker um at least ours is our motor it um, so you'll probably want to replace the audio if you do any recording of that um, and it does have a fair amount of shake so it's not a perfect tracker but if you're on a budget like we are and you want at least some help in tracking objects in the sky this is probably the way to go Thanks for watching.